As we go to air tonight, a delicate rescue mission is unfolding on Sydney Harbour, sending crews potentially infected with coronavirus back to their home ports on cruise ships. It comes as health authorities defended the disastrous decision to let the Ruby Princess disembark dozens of passengers carrying the disease onto our shores. On Sydney Harbour this morning, final photos on the deck ahead of the great cruise ship crew swap. First into port, spectrum of the seas and radiance of the seas. Then began a complex operation, loading hundreds of workers, potentially riddled with COVID-19 and all their bags onto lifeboats, grouped by nationality, ferried to whichever vessel is heading towards their home country. Every move watched closely by police ensuring not one person came close to shore. So they've all been fueled up and they've been waiting for, a, um, uh, for today, which is a final phase of the operation. There are more than 5,000 crew on five Royal Caribbean ships. Oh, By tomorrow, they'll all be gone. Abandoned, claims the Maritime Union. These ships should be coming into the harbour Doctors going on there and checking every crew member. Then they should be sent home by aeroplane. And then there's the Ruby Princess, still off the coast today. The ship that was allowed to dock and disembark on March 18, unleashing hundreds of cases. And I want to apologise to um, individuals if we, if we hadn't had that foresight. The sick on board officials thought had the flu, despite several testing negative to influenza. The experts who made the issue, who made the decision, were the best in the world. We are today calling for the health minister to stand aside. He must take responsibility. I didn't know anything about the Ruby Princess. I had no knowledge until the day after or the day after that. The cases that we could have averted by decanting people in a more ordered way with face masks and directly to their homes would have been in the order of 11. The rest, she says, including seven who've died, got sick on board. But a law firm is now preparing a class action against the cruise line itself, claiming the passengers never should have been allowed on board at all. 160 passengers from the previous cruise were displaying symptoms of COVID-19. Uh, it beggars belief that um, that virus could have been eradicated in time for the next cruise. The lessons learned may be expensive ones. Daniel Sutton for 10 News First.